Russia using US satellite imagery for missile strikes on Ukraine. When conducting airstrikes against Ukraine, Russia may be relying on satellite photos provided by US companies, The Atlantic reported, citing an unnamed Ukrainian defense official. According to the source, commercial satellites take images of a specific site in Ukraine and days or weeks later, Russian missiles hit the location. At times, another satellite then captures additional images, possibly to assess the damage. The source said that a review of logs of customers requesting images of certain strategic assets in Ukraine suggests a certain pattern. For instance, they told the journalists that in the week leading up to April 2, 2022, US orbital imaging companies processed a request for photos of a remote airstrip near Mirhorod, Poltava Oblast, at least nine times. On April the 2nd, the airstrip was hit by Russian missiles and the following week, someone requested images of the airstrip again. Just before March the 26th, 2022, someone ordered a satellite to survey a Lviv factory used for military armor production, which was subsequently attacked. More recently, in late January 2024, a commercial satellite company was tasked to take fresh images of Kyiv right before the city suffered a major missile attack. The number of coincidences where the images are followed by strikes is too high to be random. The official said, Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Katerina Chernohorenko suggested that Russia purchases satellite images through intermediaries that do business with Western satellite firms. The article also mentions that Maxar and Planet, two of the largest commercial providers of satellite images in the United States, captured photos of Ukrainian sites that were later targeted by Russian missiles. Although the companies maintain they carefully vet their clients and have not cooperated with Russia since the start of the war in February 2022, Andriy Liskovich, head of the US nonprofit providing non-lethal assistance to Ukraine, is skeptical about the company's claims of controlling the end use of their satellite images. They lack the necessary resources to adequately screen the final recipients of their products, Liskovich said. North Korea supplied 7,000 containers of munitions to Russia. North Korea has shipped around 7,000 containers filled with munitions and other military equipment to Russia since last year to help support its war in Ukraine, South Korea's defense minister said, according to Time. Shin Won-sik shared the assessment at a news conference hours after the South Korean and Japanese militaries said the North fired multiple short-range ballistic missiles into its eastern waters, adding to a streak of weapons displays amid growing tensions with rivals. Since the start of 2022, North Korea has used Russia's invasion of Ukraine as a distraction to ramp up its weapons tests and has also aligned with Moscow over the conflict as leader Kim Jong-un tries to break out of diplomatic isolation and join a united front against the United States. US and South Korean officials have accused North Korea of supplying Russia with artillery shells, missiles and other equipment in recent months to help fuel its war on Ukraine, saying that such arms transfers accelerated after a rare summit between Kim and Russian President Vladimir Putin in September. North Korea, in exchange, possibly received badly needed food and economic aid and military assistance aimed at upgrading Kim's forces, according to South Korean officials and private experts. Both Moscow and Pyongyang have denied the existence of an arms deal between the countries. During a news conference in Seoul, Shin said the South Korean military believes the North, after initially relying on ships, has been increasingly using its rail networks to send arms supplies to Russia through their land border. In exchange for sending possibly several million artillery shells and other supplies, North Korea has received more than 9,000 Russian containers likely filled with aid, Shin said. He raised suspicions that Russia could be providing North Korea with fuel possibly in defiance of UN Security Council sanctions that tightly cap the country's imports of oil and petroleum products. While fuel shortages likely forced North Korea to scale back winter training activities for its soldiers in recent years, South Korea's military assesses 
that the North expanded such drills this January and February, Shin said. Trump warns of bloodbath in US if he loses. Former US President Donald Trump has warned of a bloodbath for the American automobile industry and the country as a whole if he doesn't win a second term in the US election on November the 5th. Trump made the remark during a rally in Vandalia, Ohio, while speaking about his plans to protect US car makers from Chinese competition. The former president addressed China's leader Xi Jinping from the stage, saying that you and I are friends, but those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, you're going to not hire Americans and you're going to sell the cars to us. No, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line and you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected the presumptive Republican nominee in the election added. Trump urged Americans to vote for him in the fall, saying, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's gonna be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Later in his address, he also cautioned the crowd that if this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. Trump's speech that evening was mostly improvised as he complained about not being able to use the teleprompter due to strong winds. I can't read this damn teleprompter. This sucker is moving, like reading a moving flag in a 35 mile per hour wind. The 77 year old said, the team of US President Joe Biden interpreted Trump's mentioning of a bloodbath as a threat of political violence from their rival. He wants another January 6th, but the American people are going to give him another electoral defeat this November because they continue to reject his extremism, his affection for violence, and his thirst for revenge, Biden's campaign spokesman James Singer said in a statement. Trump campaign spokeswoman Caroline Levitt responded to the accusations telling CNN that crooked Joe Biden and his campaign are engaging in deceptively out-of-context editing.